Yes, hello, this is Raja Muzammil presenting here special education and you are watching my channel LSE learning special education. So we are in the second part of the video about uh, types, degrees and causes of hearing impairment. In the first part of this video, we have just talked about the types and degrees in detail. But in this second part of the video, we will just talk about causes of hearing impairment just according to the types and degrees. So before going to the video, uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe it and <clears throat> at the end of the video, if you think so, this video is going to be helpful for you, you can uh, give it a thumbs up and if you have any kind of question or suggestion for me, you can ask me in the comment section below and tell me in the comment section below. So let's move on towards our today's topic. So first we have here uh, the structure of an ear, we have the three basic parts including uh, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. And we have here ear canal, ear drums, ossicles, and auditory nerve. So these are the basic parts of an ear. Um, I have just uh, discussed these things in the pre previous video in detail. So um, at the next we have here causes of hearing impairment. So what are the causes of hearing impairment? So uh, we will discuss this thing um, with the types of hearing impairment. So at the first we have here is conductive hearing loss. Uh, as we know that conductive hearing loss is all about the um, middle ear and outer ear. So we will discuss all the things uh, just making problems uh, with uh, middle ear or outer ear. So first we have here is infections. So if there is any kind of infection uh, in ear canal which is outer ear or in the middle ear so it can be uh, uh, cause uh, any kind of um, uh, conductive um, hearing loss so this is the first point here uh, the second we have here is perforation of the eardrum so if there is any kind of perforation from the eardrum um, um, sometimes people just scratches their ear by the hard material and it, it just injures the eardrum and cause any kind of hole uh, in the eardrum and it perforates so if there is any kind of perforation from the eardrum so it uh, it will be uh, the major cause of conductive hearing loss which is in middle ear so at the next we have here is um, wax buildup if uh, you know that uh, if there is a large amount of wax um, in the ear can also it can be a cause of uh, um, problem with the transmission of sound uh, from the outer ear to the auditory nerve and brain. At the next we have here is this dislocation of the middle ear uh, bone ossicles. If um, um, because of any kind of injury, so um, this dislocation of ossicles can be the cause of conductive hearing loss. At the next we have here is uh, for an object in the ear canal uh, for example if a child is playing with uh, a tiny uh, tiny balls or something like that and he just pushes uh, that ball in his ear so it can be a cause of conductive hearing loss because uh, it will be a problem uh, for transmission of the sound uh, from the outer ear uh, to the middle and the inner ear and uh, auditory nerve with brain so it can be the cause of conductive hearing loss by removing that object uh, uh, it will be getting uh, normal and usual at the next we have here is autosclerosis so um, this is an uh, abnormal growth of the bone um, in the middle ear so it can be caused um, it, it, it can cause the uh, conductive hearing loss at the next we have here is abnormal growth or tumor um, if there is any kind of abnormal growth uh, in the ear in the um, outer ear and middle ear so or any kind of tumor just related to um, outer ear or middle ear so uh, it can cause the conductive hearing loss so next we have here is sensory neural hearing loss so 
uh, what can cause the sensory neural hearing loss so we are gonna uh, check it first we have here is aging so aging can be the cause of uh, sensory neural hearing loss because you know that um, just according to the age we are just getting uh, weaker and weaker and weaker so um, at the age of 60 or 65 or more than it so now uh, it can cause a sensory neural hearing loss a permanent hearing loss and the next we have here is injury um, if there is any kind of injury permanently um, in the inner ear or with the auditory nerve or uh, or with the brain so if it can just harm the um, the auditory system so it can cause the sensory neural hearing loss the next we have here is excessive noise exposure uh, if there is a large intensity sound just strikes uh, in with our eardrums and and with the auditory nerve so it can cause the basic harm uh, to the inner ear and um, there will be a permanent hearing loss so it can cause sensory neural hearing loss at the next we have here is viral infections uh, such as measles or mumps so uh, such kind of infection can cause sensory hearing loss at the next we have here is autotoxic drugs so uh, whenever you see the word OTO auto so it will be related to the ear so if there is any kind of drug or medication which can cause a problem with hearing so it will be called autotoxic drugs it can um, harm the um, auditory nerve or inner ear or other related part to the ear uh, the next we have here is diabetes diabetes can cause sensory neural hearing loss or at, um, at the very next we have here stroke um, any kind of stroke um, cause the sensory neural hearing loss so we have discussed um, sensory neural hearing loss and conductive hearing loss at the next we have here is um, uh, this is related to sensory neural hearing loss uh, which is high fever um, high fever can cause the sensory neural hearing loss at the next we have here is acoustic uh, tumors so um, there is um, uh, if there is any kind of tumor related to the hearing or ear uh, just uh, related to the four basic parts so it can cause sensory neural hearing loss and the next we have here is heredity if um, a person uh, um, has a problem uh, with his parents uh, of hearing or uh, their forefathers so it can cause uh, the sensory hearing loss um, by uh, by his forefather by her forefather so at the next we have here is uh, smoking smoking can cause uh, sensory neural hearing loss and hypertension can cause sensory neural hearing loss so these are the basic parts of uh, uh, basic causes of conductive and sensory neural hearing loss so at the very next we have here is um, auditory neuropathy causes of auditory neuropathy so first we have here is premature birth so um, if there is a premature birth of any baby so it can um, it might be the chances of uh, auditory neuropathy so uh, this can be the cause and the next we have here is lack of oxygen during birth if there is um, at the birth or during birth you can say that so it can cause uh, auditory neuropathy and it can uh, disconnect the connection of uh, uh, auditory nerve with the brain and the next we have here is hyperbilirubinemia so uh, this is uh, uh, another cause of um, auditory neuropathy and the next we have here is autotoxic drugs which can cause uh, the uh, auditory neuropathy which can damage the auditory nerve or uh, which can cause uh, the basic and uh, huge damage to the inner ear uh, which can cause the uh, auditory neuropathy 
And the next we have here is infections, infections like mumps. So uh, these uh, it can uh, it can cause the basic um, concern and uh, basic damage to the uh, ear and it can cause auditory neuropathy. And the next we have here is immune disorder. If any kind of if there is any kind of immune disorder, it can cause auditory neuropathy. And at the end we have here is neurological disorders. So if there is any kind of neurological disorders, so it cannot be able to um, a person cannot be able to uh, listen uh, properly and sound will, will not be transmitted from the outer ear to middle ear and middle ear to inner ear and then uh, auditory nerve to brain so these are the basic causes of uh, hearing losses hope so this video is gonna be helpful for you and uh, if you think so uh, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel and bye bye